my biggest toys are in tiny little pieces right now. Hang on, there's a dog hair on my lens. dreamers and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi i'm jacqueline welcome to the very messy floor of my plant room i thought we would repot one of my newly acquired plants and it needs it anyway and i haven't done too many like, chatty repotting videos i don't think i've done one maybe i want to kind of chat with you as we go along about what's been going on in my life what's been going on with plants ever since I updated you last. My last couple of videos have been a little bit uh, plant related, but a little bit off topic. So time to catch up a little bit. The plant we are going to be repotting, which is huge and with a bloom in it and multiple peduncles going on, I want you to guess how much I paid for this because I just think it'll be fun. So maybe I'll tell you at the end. Anyway, uh, this is a Hoya pubicalyx. They have not specified which type of pubicalyx. I don't think they do. I'm very excited to have this. As you may or may not remember, my Hoya pubicalyx Royal Hawaiian Purple passed away a while back. I think it got dry rot and it just was declining and I didn't know what to do and it was before I realized the uh, chaos. <laughs> you may notice behind me there are not as many gigantic Hoya as there once were. My plants had begun recovering from what we had talked about many, many moons ago, which was root rot when I had to repot my entire collection. It was this whole ordeal. I will link the video if you are not caught up this side. I was recovering from that debacle the plants were doing well, we were progressing. Of course, there's some plants that continue to have like struggles, like they'd start to grow and then it wouldn't follow through and that was disappointing. And then the lovely, the talented, the wonderful um, Betsy Begonia <laughs> posted a video about Hoyas and mites. And I adore Betsy Begonia. And so of course, and I love Hoyas, so of course I was right there as soon as I saw that notification. I will link her video by the way as well because that is totally worth watching. Uh, again, it's over here, my bad. Especially if you have Hoya. Oh, hang on, there's a dog hair on my lens. <laughs> These tendrils are fantastic, but a challenge. Looks like they had some uh... predatory something. I was horrified and she described very similar symptoms to what I just described. And then finding mites. I, before I went to bed, I ordered myself a USB microscope. I have since learned that you can also see it with um, a jeweler's loop. I can link it uh, for you if that's something you're interested in. It's so cool. I ordered the USB microscope and lo and behold, many of my Hoyas had these mites, including ones that didn't necessarily have a problem with dropping new growth. I would just say, if you're going to check, just check them all. Um, I'm in the process of doing that. Every Hoya I acquire, I am checking as it comes in. I have been acquiring some new Hoyas because I have lost some. Carnosa Crimson Princess completely afflicted the entire plant, had to cut it up. Hoya australis, my biggest Hoya, same thing. My Hoya pubicalyx splash or pink silver that I suspect it to be. That one I am having to start completely over as well. My biggest Hoyas are in tiny little pieces right now and hopefully rooting up. That is why I have acquired some new ones recently because it has been rather depressing around here. And, um, <laughs> A couple of the newly acquired ones, I just like threw in the same treatment I was already doing for the plants I knew had bugs, and that is the sous vide treatment Betsy mentioned in her video. I can't take credit for it, so again, go watch her video if you have not. Oh, this is one of those weird self-watering pods. Can we? Can't 
can we get a root shot? Oh, there we go. This Hoya is large and it's nice to have a, a large Pupa Calyx because I just, they're some of my favorite Hoya. I have never owned more than two at a time just because Hoyas grow and I like to be able to grow them relatively large so that I can watch them bloom. We are very parched. I'm very excited about this Hoya. I'm excited to see the bloom. So if you do not already, uh, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I am just dreams of Hoya on Instagram as well. I like to show things on my Instagram that are maybe sneak peeks of things that I'm going to make a video about or maybe plants I acquire before I can, you know, edit a whole YouTube video. Um, so if you are interested in some more exclusive content from me, go check out my Instagram. That is the way to do that. Reasons why I have not really been present on my channel, just in case you were wondering. I have been working on my outdoor garden. My last video was a tour of Vintage Hill Farm, which I went to a little while ago now uh, while I was on a road trip. So that was my last video. The video before that was the first phase of my outdoor garden takeover. I took on our backyard. We were left kind of a blank slate by the previous homeowner. And what was supposed to be like a three to five hundred dollar project expanded tenfold in a house like any sort of fixer project anything like that I just feel like it, it tends to grow in scope <laughs> and that's definitely what happened so that's been eating up a lot of my time and then I had filmed a lot of it but then I posted the first portion of the garden vlog and it has like no activity by comparison to my other videos so I have hours worth of footage that could be edited into another garden vlog, like a garden transformation video, but nobody is watching those. So that's all I have filmed. And I was really frustrated and overwhelmed. We went through a bit of a drought this summer. That meant that with my new garden, I was having to water everything almost every day <laughs> so that was taking up some more of my time too then this whole mite thing was happening i've learned about the mite thing so i've been treating things preventatively as well as doing things more um a little more substantially <laughs> with the sous vide treatment i think some of you will be pleased to hear been working on rooting a lot of cuttings for my etsy shop I guess I can tell you a couple of them. I'm not going to tell you all of them because I think that gives away all the mystery and the surprise and stuff. You know, this mix is actually pretty airy for what it is. I don't like peat and this still has plenty of that and I just don't trust it. So I'm not going to go crazy, but I am going to try to remove what I can. So a couple of the Hoyas that I have rooting for you. So I finally cut my Hoya Bella. I had not cut her the entire time that I had been growing her since uh, winter of 2019. <laughs> I keep saying she because Hoya Bella. I just, I can't believe how um, sparse these still are. Like I feel like they're pr still pretty expensive and hard to get at least what I'm seeing online for them. And I don't really see healthy ones in person often. I don't know that I've seen a healthy one in person since I bought mine. What else am I making? Hoya memoria, which sometimes is referred to as gracilis. That's no longer its current name. It is now memoria. But if you have a Hoya gracilis, you have this plant. Hoya pubicalix splash cuttings. Um, just from starting my plant over. I imagine they'll root pretty well. They generally are really easy to root. You know, if that's something you'd be interested in purchasing, let me know. I've just been seeing more of those Pupa Calyx Splash plants available. So I don't know that there would be much interest in purchasing them. I should say I was in a pretty dark place mentally for a while as a human with a uterus. The things that have been happening 
are just terrifying. I don't want to focus on that, but that is definitely something that's been on my mind quite a bit. And, you know, between that and just working on my own personal development, I'm starting to feel like, you know, I can be, I can have parts of me that are angry and sad and afraid. But for the most part, the things I feel that way about aren't things that I have direct control over right this second. Try not to dwell on them and uh, just let myself be happy about the things that I can. So right now I'm really happy about this Hoya and the blooms inbound on this plant. There are about five or six peduncles on this plant and I am just thrilled to have this. If you stuck around this long, I guess I will tell you. If you haven't already, put your guess in the comments section what you think this plant costs me. Drum roll. This eight inch basket of blooming Hoya was $20. The moment she said that, I said sold. <laughs> Less than I paid two years ago, not that it died two years ago. Well, my camera stopped recording, so I don't know <laughs> how much it got of the last thing I said to you, but um, how have your Hoyas been growing? Are they doing well? Are any of them going to bloom? Let me know. It would be so difficult to get in around all this foliage, but I'll do my best. Whoops. This has got such a strong root system, it's kind of supporting itself. Makes it a lot easier to repot. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy. If you are not already, make sure to go follow my Etsy shop and um, follow me on Instagram so that you can see some more exclusive stuff from me. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please like it before you go. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.